If you cannot control your own mind, then you are just a feather in the wind of life because your own mind is the only thing you can control. You can't control the weather. Right. You can't control other people. You can't even control whether your heart stops beating. You might have a heart attack tomorrow. You can't control anything besides what you think. If you cannot control your own mind, then you go through life with zero control, zero influence. You can't control anything. You're just a feather in the wind waiting for life to blow you from happy place to sad place to happy place to sad place completely hoping on the gods to be fortunate to you because if any genuine discomfort comes your way, you're fucked. It is trained like everything else in life. It is trained. So if you find yourself not appreciating what you have until it's gone, then you must blink and cure your brain. If you find yourself unable to focus or concentrate on tasks, you must blink and cure your brain. If you find yourself unable to go and dedicate yourself to something you don't want to do, you must blink and cure your brain. Because all, all of our minds have been under constant assault for years. Because everybody's fucking distracted. They're getting distracted by this, distracted by that, watching fucking Netflix, jerking off to Pornhub like fucking jackasses. It's so easy to win if you can control your own mind. But it seems that nobody fucking can. And that's how the people who run the world keep the world running. Because they have all the slaves exactly where they need them to be. Permanently distracted and semi-depressed. It gets to a point where you finally must accept the reality that your physicality and your mentality as a man are linked and you cannot be happy and strong in your mind if you are weak in your body. You need to have a strong body to have a strong mind as a man. There's no way to escape it. And that's one of the reasons why I preach so much about training, learning to fight, get in the gym, get bigger, get stronger. You will fix your mind if you fix your body. You should be as strong as you possibly can. We're now teaching the new generation of men that they don't have duty and they can just act on their feelings and act how they feel and they don't have to act as a man should. Do you know what happens when you get men who just act how they feel? You get school shooters, you get violence, you get rapists. Men who do not control their emotions are dangerous. If you find a man who is stoic, he's not gonna hurt people. He's gonna sit and think about his actions very carefully and he's gonna be a good man who protects for and provides for his family. You find a man who just acts out on impulse and does whatever he feels like, you're gonna find a dangerous man. Sitting here telling men to cry more and act with their feelings and it's okay to feel this way, that way, etc., and have no self-control. That is why we have the problems we have in the world. All of you at home know this. Perhaps I'm on the front line and I'm taking the most flack and it may look like I'm the guy who's going through the most crap right now. That's fine. But we are all in this battle together. You are either in this battle against the matrix because once you have your life together, once you're truly happy and you're truly strong and your finances are strong and you think for yourself, once you resist the slave mind, you're automatically against the matrix. So your choices are either to resist the slave mind and join the battle as the resistance, like you people are, or accept the slave mind. But then the battle is different. The battle isn't against the matrix anymore. Then the battle is against yourself. You're fighting against your own weight. You're fighting with your wife who doesn't love you anymore. You're fighting with your own depression. You're going to have to fight. You either fight against yourself and your unhappiness because you have caved to the matrix and its programming, or you resist the slave mind and enjoy the resistance. This fight is not going anywhere for anybody. It is here to stay, and it's gonna stay for the entirety of our lives, and you need to make a choice. Hey, Andrew, Um, so how do I get like a six pack quick? What's the best, fastest way to get a six pack? Why does it have to be quick? Why does it have to be easy? Why do you think life is all quick and easy? Why can't it be hard and difficult? Why can't you suffer? Because suffering is what gives it value. If everyone had a six pack and it was quick and easy, then it wouldn't be valuable, would it? If everyone walked around with a quick a six pack and they got it easily, then no one would give a shit. The whole point is that it's difficult to admit. Value is linked to difficulty. If you want something that is valuable, you need something which is difficult to obtain. The fact that you just said you wanted it quick and easily shows that your whole mental model is fucked. You shouldn't be thinking about quick and easy. You should be thinking about hard suffering pain, going through it. That's what you should be thinking about. This is gonna be hard, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because when it is done, then everyone's going to know that I went through something difficult. Why do you want it to be quick and easy? Your the mind is broken! The bad things that are happening to you are what you need to become the man that you want to be. So when someone emails me and says, this has happened to me. I'm like, good. No, what do you mean good? It's terrible. How else are you going to become important? How else are you going to find endless fire to get up and struggle in the face of the competition that's out here in the world. How else are you ever, you're gonna do all that with a nice cushy life? If any man's honest with himself, think about the biggest transformative stages in your life. Think about the times you got the most work done. 
it was a bad part of your life. You were heartbroken or, you know, you lost a house or broke or whatever. That's when you did shit. When everything was fine, when the woman's still sucking dick, the, the, the mortgage is paid, dinner's on time, it's kind of doop de doop de doo little by little, do a little bit of work, do a little bit of relax. But the big events come from trauma. This is it. So it's a cheat code. It's a cheat code to climb the mountain. So when I get a message from whoever and he goes, my wife left me, I'm devastated. I say, I understand. I completely understand how hard it can be to lose a woman that you've given your entire life to. And you've been done so many nice things. And then because of one thing you did, her innate and absolutely insane level of ungratefulness has turned her bitter and she now talks to you like she hates you over one thing you've done after thousands of efforts showing how dedicated you are to her. And even now that you're prepared to die for her, she doesn't give a shit about you. I understand that pain. But my answer is good. It's still good. Now take all of that pain and instead of emailing me, do this. And then you're going to become the kind of person that women don't leave. And you win.